Hey everybody, welcome back, Pack Opening Addict. So, Dungeons and Dragons, right? So the set that uh, it's polarizing. Let's just uh, let's just call it what it is. Uh, there are people who definitely, absolutely adore the flavor, and then there are others that are looking at it and it's just like, well, nothing about it excites them in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle. I, I think it's a really cool concept. So, start off the bat. So this is, uh, bought, I ordered this from my old LGS back home. And uh, they sent me a nice little, uh, that was it, the buy box promo? Extended art Vopal Sword. That's pretty awesome, actually. Thank you. So, let's do a set box here. Fortunately, I, I didn't get in on any extraordinarily early uh, able to ship to me collector boxes. But I did get a couple of set boxes. So I'm going to open one for now. Kind of get a start. All right. So while I'm not excited, necessarily, and that might come through on the video a little bit, and for that I do apologize, I, I can't fake it, but I do think, I do think there's some, I do think there's some cool cards in this set. Um, and I do think the limited feel, I think the, the flavor of it, like, I, I you know, I, I can see what they did, and so these must be the Japanese, yep, these must be the Japanese print. All right, so we're going to start here, let's see what we get in these Sorry, set packs here. So, okay, so first you start with the art card like normal. Then you get into a land. Is it a foil land? Is it always a foil land? All right, so then I guess in this pack we're going to go immediately into an uncommon. Or is this uh, the slot specifically for the parchment showcase? Yep, that's what that is. Okay. So a slot specifically for that. And then we're going to get into some more commons. I'm not going to go through all the commons. Otherwise, these videos take absolutely forever. Okay, so we got the Uncommons then. So we got Drider. I mean, the artwork is pretty cool. But Elf Spider. Okay. If you say so, we'll call it an Elf Spider. Okay, Reaper's Talisman. All right. Lightfoot Rogue. Okay, so now we're going to skip back to a common. That's weird. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Priest of Ancient Lore. Portable Hull. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to start with a Forsworn Paladin. I have no idea if that's a card that people are uh, getting giddy for. Then we got a Foil. So we got Criddle of Baldur's Gate. The Human Elf Rogue. And we have a Fairy Dragon token. Okay. Oops. Oh, pull tabs. Forever my nemesis. Then we got, should I even bother with these? Like, okay, so we got owl bear. Okay, common, commons, commons. Get through these. Trickster's talisman. Trickster, power of persuasion. Another random common. Okay, another one. Hey, treasure chest. Cool. Okay. So our first good rare. I think it's good rare. Chaos channeler foil. And a magic mini game. Mini games are cool. It's kind of like the old school uh, inquest uh, puzzles. Okay. So we got Ginny Windseer parchment. Okay, get through the commons. Aberrant mind sorcerer. Human elf shaman. They really just keep adding to the uh, to the creature types. Okay, for a day, Devil's Chosen, Barbarian class. A lot of people are kind of saying these are really cool. I gotta I gotta try them out. Purple Worm, Wish. I do like that. Grab a card from outside the game. That that is really cool. How long that till that's banned? Okay, Paladin class. So Barbarian class is an uncommon, but bar but Paladin class is rare. Okay. And then we got a foil dungeon descent. And that's right, we got the list. Um, what should I do here? Whatever, that's fine. Okay. Totally forgot about the list. Got to make spot for the list. Okay. So out of these, which I guess shouldn't be a shocker, you can get the uh, 
So, okay, so in that slot, you get what? So you get either one of the showcase cards or a borderless card. That's pretty cool, okay? Obviously an uncommon, so there's gonna be a lot of those out there. So it's not like it's a big hit or anything, but that's that's pretty cool. In the black dragon. You see a guard approach. Gloom Stalker. Oswald Fiddlebender. Yeah. I know some people are gonna get mad at me, but I'm about to make fun of this. Look at how boring that card is for showcase. Sheesh. Yeah, it still seems cool. I, I I don't know. I don't know even know where I want to put you. All right. Wizard class in common. I know it fits the flavor of the game, but those parchment cards, there's only one I'm going to be excited for. And hopefully I get it. Okay, so what's this? What does this do? So Drider, so we got one of those earlier, so that's that elf spider thing. Oh, okay, so the back of the has their uh, stats. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's favorite fetch land, Evolving Wilds. I'm going to go ahead and set that somewhere. Okay, Priest of Ancient Lore again. <clears throat> These turned out much better looking in person than I thought they were going to be. I just want to comment on that. They are pretty neat. Check for traps. Warlock class. I would, wouldn't that be a rare? Hive of the Eye Tyrant in the standard artwork. What does that thing do? Okay. All right. Yeah, so, so it's a... Okay. So are they all man lands? Are these just a new set of man lands? Like, is that a... Oh! Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Before I... All right. Immortan Kynan Borderless Foil Mythic. Okay, so they're kind of following what they did with uh, Modern Horizons 2. And you can get the fancy versions in the set box and probably then the draft box too. Huh? huh. <laughs> that, <laughs> that really now makes the collector boxes for this set seem pointless. More so than any of the others. That's funny. Mentor. Portable hold. Bag of holding. That's pretty funny. Okay. Rust monster. Another common thrown in the middle there. Plunder and barbarian. Wizard class. Rogue class is a rare. Okay. Wandering troubadour and an ancient den to start off our list cards. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think too many people... Uh, as far as the commons in here, it's probably one of the better commons you can pull. Purple worm. Yeah, that's, that's a worm. Uh, sure, go there. Plus two mace. Okay. And Genius Smith... Plate armor. Renor Battlehammer. Eye of the Eyes of the Beholder, huh? Target creature, basically, you get wrecked. Okay. And Charm Sleep. And into Morden Kynan again. Sweet. So I guess we're going to get plenty of Morden Kynans. And we got, uh, okay, Skeleton and then one of the dungeons. Okay. <laughs> All right, two Mythics down, both the same one. One in the regular version, one in the super fancy version. Got it. It's going to get... Okay, all right, commons. Had enough of you. All right, choose your weapon. Two. Okay, again, the flavor. Two weapon fighting, because you had to specialize in that skill. Or archery, all right. Black dragon. White dragon. Dragon's Fire. This is this this right here is why you can't draft with set boosters. Planar Ally. And Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Who is actually seems like a pretty good little uh goblin. Not that not that I, I care about goblins very much. Ever. 
Okay, an arcane teachings from Judgment. Another common from the list slot. This video is going to take a little longer. I do apologize. I'm kind of, you know, getting the feel for it here, getting the uh, checking it all out. My first videos usually do from each set. Temple of the Dragon Queen, Green Dragon. Eventually, a lot of these uncommons will just pretty much fly through them. Not that I'm sure of how many of these I'm going to open. I am going to open some collector boxes too. Um, Instrument of the Bards. Okay, and Nightmare. Okay. Good old Nightmare. Used to be a powerhouse in Magic back in the day. Awesome. Was that M17? Was that the last time that Nightmare was ever printed because there's no reason to print it anymore? Okay, so we got Gretchen Titchwillow. Okay, Commons, Troubadour. Okay, yeah. Dragon Turtle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So wait, flash for a three five for three. Drag below, okay. When you're just the battlefield, tap it and up to one target creature and opponent controls. Oh, so you could totally lock down something that's a, a that's absolute pain in the neck on the opponent's side. It's actually kind of a cool card. Okay, is it Wan T? Yeah, I think it is. Fang Blade and a Fairy Dragon. Oops, sorry, Morden Kynan. Dropping stuff all over you. Let me just go ahead and straighten you. All right. Let's get into the next row. Jeez, I'm 11 minutes in already. Oh. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Let me pick up the speed a little bit. Oh, cool. Blue Dragon. I don't think I saw that before. Okay, well, I don't have time to read everything right now. We are running long in the video. Read that later. Okay, Druid Class, Wild Shape, Blink Dog. Hey, the Adult Gold Dragon. Seems like a pretty cool card. I don't know if it's going to hold any, like, rarity, as in people care about it. Arcades the Strategist. Wow, from M19. Wasn't this, uh, yeah, this was recently in the Time Spiral Remastered, right? Old Border Treatment. Still, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oops. We got Tiamat card there. I'm hoping to pull a Minsk. That's for me. Okay. Is it Otri Jelly? Foil? Rare? No, not foil. Showcase. Whatever you want to call things. Green Dragon Foil Borderless. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. We'll say my patrons were not overly excited about this set, so I don't know how many patron openings we're going to do, if any. Uh, I am going to be really interested to see how many of Rudy's patrons do, because I, I will want to watch them. So I'm going to be interested to see if they really want to, and, and they will. He has a ton of them, and there will be enough that will be like, yes, I want to get in. Okay, Asmodeus, the Arch Fiend, Arch Fiend, if I could speak words. Devil God. Oof, that just sounds brutal. Okay, that seems like a cool card. You're going to go over there. Skeletal Swarming. All right. Okay, nothing. I feel like somebody like Asmodeus, the Archfiend, who was a devil god, that should have been a mythic. It should have been some kind of super powerhouse. I feel like you're not doing that card justice. So is this always a common or uncommon slot? Is that how that's working? Okay, get through the commons. Jeez, these random commons, swear to God. Den of the Bugbear, another man land. Monk class foil. Okay, it's kind of cool. You can actually go there. I like that the monk class is blue and white. Seems appropriate. It's like, I'm a fighter, but like, I'm a nice guy. 
And I'm going to use the mystical arts. Something like that. Ignore my musings. They're pointless. Green Dragon. Minion of the Mighty. Okay, I'm going to have to read that later. Pack Tactics. Okay, nothing there. So I see it's a zero one for one with Menace and Pack Tactics. I'm going to have to read what Pack Tactics is. I have a feeling that's going to buff him up. Borrowing of Clan Under, Dungeon Crawler, Death Priest of, is it Miracle? So I just kind of realized, so we've been stuck at the Mythic set too for a little bit now. <laughs> and the, is it Tarask? Is that a Tarask? Tarasque? Tarasque? I don't do French. Um... <laughs> I know, I know, my, my mispronunciations are brutal. I, I get it. I don't... I don't do that. Okay. So somebody can probably correct me or I'll look it up. But either way, okay, a third mythic. So I know that's one of the, the big baddies in which some people were complaining that this card is actually underpowered versus how impossible it is to take down in D&D. Definitely there were some commentary about that, that that card should be... Uh, Almost an Eldrazi level. Okay, Cloister, Gargoyle, Commons, Commons, Commons. Power Word Kill. Still love that. Flavors, right? Cessra, Warlock Class, Delver's Torch Common, Throne in the Middle, Baleful Beholder, Oswald Fiddlebender, Gnome Artificer. Okay, and a. God, these foils are just... Anyway. <laughs> okay. Lots of uncommons. Oh, lots of commons in this one. Blue Dragon. Cradle. Ranger class. So that's a, that's a rare. Lonesome Troll. Nothing. Yeah, we're going to go over 20 minutes in this video, folks. Completely understand if you stopped watching. I get it. And I completely understand that as I just said that, you just decided, you know what? Yeah, I'm done with this. Click. I get it. Video's going long. The Moon Dancer. Clear class. Boots of Speed. Yeah. <laughs> Tasha's Hideous Laughter. The card that people can't figure out if it's either going to be a powerhouse or awful. Seems like a strong ability. Seems like it could be usable in a, a bunch of different things, especially mill and EDH, but I guess there's other things like Fractured Sanity that also came out recently kind of do a similar thing. Okay. Moon Blessed Cleric. Uh, commons, commons, commons. Lolf. Cool. So that's probably going to be one of the better mythics, would be my guess. But obviously with Planeswalkers, we'll kind of see about their playability. That seems pretty awesome. Whenever a creature you control dies, throw on a loyalty counter. I mean, that, that's abusable. Okay, that, that's sound, just from quick reading, this card could be awesome. But I'm not an expert, so I'll wait for, for others to chime in about such matters. <laughs> Standard Fetchland. Actually, I will say the artwork on that is gorgeous, but whatever. Okay, so we got the Battle Hammer again. Choose your weapon. Black Dragon, White Dragon. Skullpur Merchant. Hey, Infernal of the Star Mounts. Inferno, sorry. Of the Star Mounts. Cool. So Badass Dragon, it's our fifth mythic. Factor Fiction. <laughs> really? You added that to the list? Okay. Ah, oh, man. Sorry. 
Things are just sliding all over here, folks. Oh, okay. So we got the... That is gorgeous, though. So we got the Borderless White Dragon. Okay. And then we got regular White Dragon. Hey, Drist! In the traditional artwork version. I think that's awesome. May not be worth anything, but who cares? Zalto Fire Giant Duke. Okay. And a Merfolk Mistbender from the list. Yeah, come on. All right, get through the uncommons again. Hand of Vecna. I don't know if that's going to be a really good card or not, but it seems like it will be solid at least. Bard class. That's going to be the real question about this set is, will it do well in, in standard? Then on top of that, will it find its way into other formats? How many of these cards are going to be played in EDH? Let alone CEDH. Um, will any of them find their way into modern? I doubt any of them will find their way into legacy, but maybe, maybe. Dungeon map and Circle of Dreams Druid. Okay, seems like a pretty cool card. I mean, pretty much any kind of rare elf that's going to, like, make your mana pool explode is pretty much like an automatic, like, three bucks. Iron Golem. Okay, that's pretty cool artwork. If only it had color. Okay. Goblin Morningstar. Hulking Bugbear. Yeah, Hunter. Okay, got our common... Hey, a white. They made that a rare, huh? Okay. Gloom Stalker and Lightning X from Time Spiral. Hey, Wizards. You probably didn't need to, you know, put a lot of cards in here that you recently released a lot of. So we got is this the Adult Gold Dragon? Yeah. So we have the Signature Adult Gold Dragon. Meteor Swarm. Yes, I did misread the card in when I did my uh, <clears throat> when I did my uh, pre-release specs. All right, so what do we got left here? So we're already at 23 minutes. I've got four packs left. All right, so we're getting through this. We're almost done. These are. Uh, these are a challenge. <laughs> really another another one of these evolving wilds. Okay. Alright, dungeon map. Red dragon. Yeah. Volo, guide to monsters. Seems like a really good card, but we'll see. Three packs left. But probably, I mean, there's there may be one more mythic left. I, that would be kind of my guess at this point. So that's the Borrowing of Clan Urger in the showcase. Can I just call it Parchment? Because that's kind of what it is. Tag Nar Demon Fang Null. Huh? Okay. Okay, then we got Troll. Okay. There's a... Uh, that thing. <laughs> Long rest. Two packs. Magic missile, huh? Ah, oh, they did it. I did not notice that. Really? Eh. For three mana? Yeah, I'm, okay, whatever. Fine. Hey, Tiamat! Cool. I didn't expect that. All right. So our, probably our last... Well, yeah, one pack left. That's our last mythic. Awesome. Tiamat. 
You know, I have to say, I, I, I think I did pretty well in the Mythics in this. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure my Mythics went quite well in this box. The list slot didn't, but at least the Mythics did. So that's pretty awesome. That probably makes this a good box, at least for now. So stuff gets sorted out. Wow, look at this pile of uncommons. Jeez. Okay. Westgate Regent. Or the vampire, and that's probably going to be it. And that is all she wrote. So that is my first box of the Adventures of the Forgotten Re in the Forgotten Realms. Sorry, the Dungeons and Dragons set. So overall, uh, that was interesting. Um, I look, I do look forward to doing a collector box or two. Uh, that should be fun. I, I really kind of want to see more of these uh, in the full foily versions. So, all right. Until the next video. Thanks for watching.